Hello there, welcome back to a world update today. And um, right now, we are looking for um, enhanced risk for your weather, especially when you head towards North North Plot, heading towards um, Howard City to, um, I need to get the official Storm Prediction Center outlook real quick. But um, right now, anyways, while we get that loaded up, we are right now um, looking at a hail threat at the moment, but we could be seeing a significant wind threat heading to later today. As we do have a 30% significant wind threat, um, wind probabilistics um, heading to later today. We have an enhanced risk, of course. Um, right now, we're looking at some hail right here. Uh, a couple uh, mean look at supercells, one of them, three of them, um, Sphere Thunderstorm warned. And then looking towards Kansas near um, Goodland. And um, we still have a couple, also a couple supercells located that is producing some, probably some damaging winds and large hail. And then also looking in California, we have a severe thunderstorm warning. Um, uh, producing some probably damaging winds in large chill too. Um, these are some pretty elevated storms in um California, and also down in Alabama, we have a pretty interesting um outflow boundary located right here. Interesting supercell as well, probably producing some damaging winds, maybe some large chill too. <clears throat> but the um, damaging wind threat probably won't be coming till you head towards, um, probably towards right around here. This is where up, where you, um, significant threat starts, and then it's gonna be probably, probably moving towards the um, south, and um, more like east to west, really, actually, as um. We're going to be seeing a pretty um, intense um, boom segment there as possible. That's why there is still a severe um, enhanced risk. But um, <clears throat> whatever happens, though, is pretty much really up for debate, though. But um, I think it's a pretty good chance we'll be seeing some fast-moving um, MCS later tonight as um, we're looking at... Autographs are definitely supportive of something of that nature. And um, we'll see um, what happens. But um, really, um, heading to surface um, analysis right now. Um, we're definitely looking at um, surface low located around in Kansas. I need to get that pulled Yep, surface low located in Kansas right now, more o Kansas and Oklahoma. Um, <clears throat> this is associated with, as well, um, I need the Weather Protection Center's um, low pressure located right here, surface low. And um, along with that, we're looking at a warm front that is probably draped around here. And um, it's going to be probably, probably bringing in some... Um, Gulf moisture heading in the next couple of days, and really we'll see what goes on during that time. But anyways, um, looking at um, surface base Cape right now, we're looking at very high amount of five thousand joules per kilogram. Um, more towards um, Gothenburg, Howard, Howard City, Grand Island, five thousand surface base instability. And uh, surrounding that, really, we're looking at 4,500 joules per kilogram. We're right now looking at some pretty extreme amounts of instability, which really is a very good <clears throat> thing to hear. Looking at effective shear right now, not too good. But um, once you get to 0 to 6 kilometers, it's around 25 to 40, mo 40 knots. Not too good, but might be enough for some organized convection. <clears throat> Anyways, um, while we get that, really we'll continue to monitor this as um, we're gonna be looking at some um, lapse rates very um high in the mid in the low levels around nine point five eight to nine point five degrees um Celsius per kilometer mid levels widespread statewide nine to nine point five eight to nine point five I mean um. 3 Celsius per kilometer. Right now, we're in a pretty good environment for some damaging winds, potentially significant. And into tonight, 
And as it heads off to the east, we have again um, another enhanced risk fear weather tomorrow, which as well could carry on a significant flash flooding threat as we have a moderate risk of excessive rainfall across Missouri. Several inches of rain is possible. Um, so it's something to keep an eye on. And um, in the exact same area, we have an enhanced risk of severe weather stretching from around Kansas City, St. Joseph, heading into near Columbia, Morley. Um, right now looking for uh, 5% trail, 30% wind, 15% hail. And heading towards Kansas, we have for tomorrow a significant wind threat. And we have 10% tornado, not mean not 10%. 10% or greater risk of um, significant damage in winds or 75 or 75 miles per hour or greater. So, um, we'll see what goes on. We also have 30% hail. Um, it's going to be probably, this might be associated with um, the enhanced risk with um, the previous days. But um, another round of some, some showers and storms though. Um, we'll see what goes on. Apart from that, really it, and goodbye.